he could um, so that he could build some sustainability into his sits and downs, etc. So I'll release him. You better come. So when he does his sit, I mark it, yes, click, good boy. And we do what we call fine dining. So as long as he remains in the sit, he gets little, little tiny pieces of food. And when I mean tiny, when I say tiny, I mean tiny, like we're talking not even a quarter of an inch. What I'm feeding tonight is bologna, thinly sliced bologna, and dehydrated liver. Just to give you an idea of how quickly he does respond to commands. Oh, I drop some. No. Go, oh boy. Can you just stand? Uh -huh. Goodbye. Try again. Stand. Stand. Yes, stay. Stand. Stand. Yes. So he's having difficulty with his stand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reward him. You got it? Stand for being in his stand. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Sit. Down. Stand. Sit. Down. Stand. Go back. are and how I get sustained behaviors. <clears throat> He's uh, a little bit hyper because I worked with the other dog first and he thinks I shouldn't do that, it should be his turn. <clears throat> so, one of the behaviors I always teach my dogs is hand targets, which I'm sure you've taught Nico. Jumping to other behaviors. Um, 
like you said Nico did. So when that happens, I just calm my voice down, get very quiet in my commands, and I'll put my hand on his chest, on his heart, just to kind of calm him down. So that if you touch the dog on their chest, it will calm them down. If you pat them here on top of their head, it actually heightens their um, activity and their anxiety. Oh boy. So we'll try this again. Are you ready? Back. Nice try. Back. Back. Sit. Good man. Down. Stand. No. Stand. Yes. sustained behavior. We do something we call fine dining. So I have a piece of dehydrated liver, which is a good size. And basically my dogs are trained to stay in the position that they're in until they are given a release command or an alternate command. So in this case his last command was SIT and that's what he's doing. And he will stay there until I say down. Good boy. See how he's calmer now? Sit. Good boy. Down. Roll. Good man. Now, with the paw and other, that's how I'm going to show you how I sustain it. So if I say paw, you get paw. Yes. Other. Yes. Paw. Yes. Other. Yes. Paw. Yes. Other. If I want the paw to remain there, I do what I call fine dining. Now he's not getting that because he's got two paws up on me. I don't want the other. Yes. Oh boy. Yes. Oh man. So the clicker marks the behavior, but it doesn't mark the end of the behavior. What marks the end of the behavior is the release word. All done. Oh boy! Okay, you ready? Do you want to do another trick? Would you like to do another trick? Pause up. Yes. Can you hide? Yeah, go cool. boy. Good. Up. Up. Oh boy. Yes. Down. Stand. Oh boy. Yes. Good boy. to teach my dogs, I don't call it a trick, but the behavior is a hand target, touch, yes, touch, touch, yes, touch, yes, touch, 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 yes, go boy. Um, because it then gets some fall in your hand, touch, yes, if you need to move them over. Can you do uh, figure eights? Can you go under, 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 under. So, again, the reason I'm showing you all this is because you want to see how the dog behaves with their behaviors, and you can see how quickly he responds to a request. <clears throat> and they have to know the release word. Under. 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 School person. And I'm fine with him. Okay. I have to be very... <clears throat> calm, very quiet in my movements, because he's so erratic. And if I get erratic and jump around, then he gets erratic and jumps around. Miss Keep, you're being very good. Reward for being a good girl. Okay. <clears throat> another trick and uh, another behavior 